Welcome y'all to Spacey Tracy Nails. Today I am doing a technique experiment just to see how I can do it. Uh, i am got my nail tips right here. These are um, square and they're long. And then I have some Vapid Candy Paint uh, as my like three colors right there. These are the base colors. And then I have this beautiful pink flaky. It's blossom season. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that. I think it's great. All right. Now, we are doing Aurora nails today. And this is going to be interesting because I've never done it. I haven't even practiced. I thought it would be good to just do it, right? Instead of making you guys wait, you know, like practice and then go, well, I got it better and because I practiced. No, we're gonna do this on camera, right off. Thank you guys for coming and watching my channel. I do appreciate you, especially the ones that have came back and <laughs> decided to watch me again. And if you're new here, I really hope that you stick around. So I do everything, just I'm on my little journey of learning. Uh, this is the uh, gelling uh, functional, it's like a builder gel that I have my, on my nails and they're already on there. Uh, it gives it a sticky thing, but you're not supposed to touch gel, so don't do that. Don't do what I just did. Uh, you can get a gel allergy and I'm trying to really take that seriously because I kind of, yeah, my nails haven't been very happy since I've been playing with them. Uh, maybe I'm just not doing it right, right? Okay. Uh, I also have this little spongy thing um, that I had gotten from AliExpress a long, long time ago. We have that uh, as like a, you know, individual little stamper thing. And I thought maybe um, we will try that. We will try this. And we are going to try this little brush um, from like Sheen. There will be a haul that'll come up with this. I just haven't done it, and I'm t I'm not getting these hauls up fast enough, so I need to start using the products. That's just the way they will be. Some of the products you'll probably have seen, but then you you know they'll show up in one of my videos. Now this um, is the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using, and I'm doing a lighter color in the middle and a darker color on these lighter ones. That's my gold here at least. Now I'm going to take all this stuff off the here so we're not making a mess or so I have room to move, which is a good thing, right? We need room to move. All right. Now, I guess this has never been opened. These are a year old. Can you believe it? So I got these from Winco and I really like them, but LA does have a website that you can go get these from if they still had them. A year ago they had them. I won't know if they do, but if they do, I'll put the link down and below just to help you guys out. All right, um, I was looking at these colors thinking that they were gonna be really good. Now that I've opened them, I'm not positive they're going to be the greatest. Okay, let's go with these two because I'm gonna go with the darker, with the light, and the light with the thing. I was going with this one right here. That's the one I wanted, but I don't know if it's gonna go right. All right, now, the main thing is, is you're supposed to have a sticky base. Now, if you don't have gel, you can use a Maniology sticky base. There's a bunch of the, a bunch of suppliers have them now, so just letting you know, FYI out there, okay? I think first off, I'm going to try to do it with the round one, because that gives it more, I would think, of an or maybe possibly yeah maybe you no know, maybe I won't do it maybe I'll do it with that all right let's just give it a try and see what's gonna happen here because this is gonna be interesting because I've never done it now we're gonna try this little pink one right here and I am gonna start with this so I'm just gonna like okay nothing came off that so um that's not really working maybe you have to have it wet probably not a good idea all right so that didn't work just getting some ideas. Then I'm gonna use this little silicone on that side and see if it picks it up. Do we get anywhere? Oh, I picked some up. That's a good thing. I picked some up. All right, now I'm just gonna get that round in there. Ooh, that's a lot of round, huh? And maybe, 
maybe, what if I take this and just like push it in? Mm -hmm. And get it to like, I don't know, like blend out. Hmm. It's probably not the exact way to do a roar, huh? Nails. A raw? I'm, a pro I'm probably saying that wrong too, but okay. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, I don't know about you, but that don't look right. We know what Spacey Tracy does. She goes and she takes it off. I don't think I'm going to need like a, um, using any, let's see. Uh, I just need water, I would think, because it's not, oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. All right, so now I'm going to take my sticky base off. Now that I just come to think of that, I'm taking off my sticky base. Okay, well, that didn't work. It didn't come to the way I wanted that to work. So we're just gonna take all that off. Uh -huh. And now, I just lost my sticky base. Okay, so that's, that's not a good one. That's not a great move, that didn't work. Um, it off on my little lint roller right here. You can see, get it all cleaned off. Okay, that wasn't a good plan. Um, I'm going to try. Let's just do it with this. Of course, now I don't have no sticky base. There's no stickiness on there. Well, that's not going to work. Okay. All right. So, first one, no go. No go, no go, no go. Okay, now let's go with this one. Let me try it again. It's too dark. Okay, so I'm just going to like dot it off a little bit so it's not so, you know. Uh, let's just use one of these nice little, you know, couture brush things. This is what they're supposed to like, you're supposed to be able to use them to clean off your brushes. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Now I'm just going to dab it. Dab, dab, dab. Brush, brush, brush. Dab, dab, dab. Okay. I'm not hating it. No, I'm not hating it. I don't know, we'll have to see when it gets on the, you know, like, once I put the top coat on. So, I guess I want it to be a little bit more round. Maybe I can take off some over here, because that's a little bit too much. Because I wanted it to be more round. Okay guys, now, I know that this is me just doing it, but I'm gonna need help. Definitely need help. Okay, now, I did that and it looks like I might be getting somewhere, but it needs to be lighter. So what I was thinking is I'm gonna take a little bit of a lighter color and just Bring it out a little bit. Hmm. Okay. One part looks good, one part doesn't. Okay, so there we go. There's my Aurora nails. And I don't know, pretty sure it's not the best. Uh, people were doing it. I got other ideas. I just wanted to try it this way 
because I was like seeing a lot of people doing it with the eyeshadow. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to give it a try. It doesn't hurt to just sit there and like, you know, mess with that and see what you can come up with in these designs. Okay, so there is uh, that. I don't know if you think that's good or not, but let's put on a top coat and give it a bitty booze and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here is my Aurora now. And as we can see, that's not exactly what I had planned. But hey, I'm gonna keep trying. You guys can help me. Okay, well then I went and I mad mad at them because it says if you do that, that that should help. And uh, use a uh, I shadow thing applicator whatever the heck that thing is a and like I said I'm very like just trying to see what I can do but it says to just go around now that's not too bad so you want it darker in the middle And then you take a brush, probably like this one, and just um, push it down a little bit more, maybe. And then come back in. And kind of dab, I think is what they were saying to you. Okay, <laughs> and then maybe, I don't know, blow it off. I'm trying to find a freaking brush. I can't find a brush. Um, this is trial and error, people, trial and error. So now I'm just gonna kind of brush it off. I mean, it's not, I mean, okay. For first time trying to figure this out, I don't think it's that bad is me trying to figure it out now that one not so much but this one we might be getting somewhere okay now I want to put some more because you just want to kind of have that what is it the round part okay There it is. I mean, okay. It's saying it's perfect or anything. So I'm gonna go around and just make it so it's not such a harsh line. So I'm just kind of tapping it. I mean, I'm not that disappointed in that. Okay. All right, now we're gonna put on a top coat. <sighs> I don't blow on a thing. And then we'll let it see what it looks like afterwards. Now, I am very new at this, like I said, very first time. Just giving it a try. Just seeing what I could do. Now, we'll throw that one in the lamp. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that was very, a lot, but okay, I'll just put it in there. And see. All right, now I think I'm getting somewhere. Okay, we're still we're still gonna work with this. I'm telling you. All right. 
I am going to do it again. And this has got the tacky layer on it. So we're not, we're back to not doing the sticky stuff. I mean, this is a tacky. This isn't matte. So I'm gonna try it with this applicator now. So I'm just patting. Pat, pat, okay. And I'm just trying to get it to be somewhat of a oval-ish. And that's what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. I'm not saying this is perfect by any means, but I'm just trying some ideas out. And I just want to brush that off. I mean, I will get better with all this stuff, I promise. But I'm giving it a try. That's all I can say. Giving it a try. Okay, now I'm going to put on this topped coat again, which this is actually regular polish. And then I put on um, that sticky base stuff so I can go over it again if I wanted to because it's actually gel now. Oops. We have a straggler. I don't want them to be thick either. I'm gonna turn it upside down. Something about that. I turn it upside down. Mm-hmm. This is just because we're doing it with the regular nail polish or um with eyeshadow. So I know there's other ways, and I am definitely um going to venture out into them other ways. I just at this moment I wanted to try the polish, or the eyeshadow. Not the polish, the eyeshadow. Okay, so this one is definitely has some issues, but I wonder if I, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not, it's definitely not where we need to be. That just looks like I got a cloud on there, huh? That didn't work very well. I don't think it was very good at all. Not impressed. Okay. Really not impressed so far. This is gonna be a flop. Flop, flop, flop. Total flop. Okay. Okay. Now, we've been trying this pigment thing, not getting anywhere, and I had tried the other um, ones that I was doing and we're gonna change colors. We're gonna change colors. I think I'm, uh, the flakies and all that with these are just not, you know, working the way I want. So here we go, we're gonna change colors. Now what do I have this time, and I will have a haul of these coming up, but these are all of the like shadows and stuff uh, that I got on clearance um, from Walmart uh, from probably a year ago, but I looked and LA Colors website still has them. So I'll put that down below when I do do this video. Uh, this time I am doing a uh, these colors. And I'm working on using this one and this one, I think. Or just that one. So again, we are back not knowing what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna do it. But I went back and did some research and found out that the innovation uh, top coat part of it that you have to like, um, usually remove 
from uh, the uh, press-ons or nails or whatever you uh, want to leave it on. So I used these again. So I went back from that to <laughs> a different uh, topping of it. Now we are gonna have the uh, sticky part of it to stay on. That's the uh, that's the goal here, or that's the plan this time. Well, we'll just take this one first. He's the biggest, so I think we'll just start with him. And it says to dab, dab, dab. We're still at the dabbing part. And I'm gonna use my email couture. They're sending me some more polishes. Really, really excited about that. Don't know what they are. We'll see what they happen. Uh, then this is like just, I just kind of like getting it in there and just going to try to put it in the middle. And it says, don't worry about it being, um, you know, a little, uh, not, so don't worry about it being kind of that orange pill right now because that will work itself out when we put on the top coat. Okay, now we have that. Uh, I needed to hold it a little bit better. There we go. Okay, trying to do it as round as we can. Um, and then what you do is you take like a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna try to do here, and I'm just gonna wipe it. Off. Whoops! Gonna drop it and get some hair on it. And then it says to go ahead and you would put on a um, another coat on top of that. I think it's what I was getting. I think I'm positive. I'm not for sure, but okay. Yes. I think so. Let me think a minute. Okay. So now we have it like that. I'm just gonna, okay. You just kind of wanna, the rest of this, I'm taking a different one, a bigger one, cleaning off all that stuff off there on this little thing right here. Plus I do have this little thing. I got it from the dollar store a long time ago. And they're really neat because you can clean off your brushes and in between the colors. And I forgot all about it until just now. Ah! I uh, didn't used to wear uh, makeup that much anymore because when I got disabled, but I am wearing it a little bit more now because I got my brand new teeth. So really, really excited. These are not, they, they, they're very real looking. I'm just amazed. They're not your typical uh, dentures that you would get. They look like veneers. So I'm very, very impressed. Okay. Now I'm just, uh oh. Ah. I need to get that off there. Just dropped something on there. that off there. So you're just kind of taking it and what I was gathering and just, you know, moving it around because you can go and clean some of this up if it's not the way you wanted it. So I like this bigger brush. This is just like a, um, a brush that you would get from the Dollar Tree. Definitely a Dollar Tree person. And, uh, yeah, so you don't want it to be as dark as it is in the middle for your Aurora. I, I'm liking this one. I think I'm finally getting somewhere here now, I think. So I really do feel, so you do need that sticky layer. And if you don't have that sticky layer and you're doing it on regular nail polishes, then use like a, um, 
There's a lot of companies that have it, but Maniology has a sticky base coat. Uh, it works really, really well for this kind of thing. And uh, yeah, you might want to try that. If that is something if you're not into gel. I'm very new at gels. This is definitely way out of my, way out of my wheelhouse. But I am learning. I'm trying my best. Okay. Let's just... Trying to get it to have a little bit of a, okay, now I need to go around it with a lint free, I guess, because you don't want to get anything on it. And I am going to use my, uh, I have some alcohol acetone. It is, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, it is 60% uh, uh, the alcohol, and then acetone is 40%. It's a, it's a mixture that I heard about that was pretty good for uh, taking off that uh, innovation uh, thing, uh, you know, coat. So now I'm just going to go in here and kind of clean it up because I feel like I've got it where I want it. I'm pretty confident I like that. So the next one I'm going to try not to be as... So I'm just going around it just to, you know, pick up all that. Just going around it so that I have a little bit of that. Plus, I'm trying to get it to kind of be rounded. Um, and then I'm going to just blend it off again and make sure that it's nice and you know, blended. Because you want it to be lighter up there than you do. So, Okay, there we go. I, I think that turned out pretty cool. I'll go put it and uh, do a top coat. And we'll come back and I'll see how it worked, okay? Be right back. Okay, so now that that's doing that, and I just used this, um, the gelin again, gelin. And I cleaned off my brush really well before I'm gonna put it back in there. It's really important. So that's what you're supposed to do is use this mat. And that's what I did. Whole mess over here. Okay. Experimenting makes messes, I tell you. By any means, that's what it does. Okay, now that we did that, and I'm going to try again. So let's take another one. And I'm going to try to see if I can hold it this way. Gives me a little bit more to hold on to. Okay. Here we go again. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Start. Go. Okay. Here we go again. So, oh, keep saying I'm ready, but then I keep forgetting to put up a thing here. Okay, I just need something up here. Alrighty, I'm gonna try it again. So, make sure I got that clean. Bustle off my brush a little bit there. Feel like I'm getting somewhere now. So I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to do, 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 do. Yeah, this brush I think works just a little bit better than this one because this one is more for when you're trying to mix them with when you're like doing wet, I think. Just didn't see a very good. Hey, it really does clean them off really well, just so you know. This one actually was working, so it's more of a fluffier, but small enough to, you know, whatever size of nail you're using. So I was able to just stay right there. On it. Now let me see if this might work if I do this. Just to... Soften it? Mm-hmm. 
So I'm just using that one to soften it up a little bit. And there we go. You saw that one. I'm gonna let you guys just watch me do this real fast with the music. And I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna do the very last one together here. So basically, this is what I'm doing, is I'm just going in the middle, and this one I'm not gonna like push down as much because it's the pinky. And I'm just kinda going up and down to get it to be kinda like a, you know, right in the middle. And you could always put like if you wanted, if you wanted the darker or, you know, spreading out, or, you know, you could play with it to see where you want. It's just up to you. Then I'm just going around with this brush and just trying to soften the edges. That's all I'm doing. This is soften the edges. And I wasn't looking for doing a really dark color, uh, you know, like, or a really light color. I was just messing with it, kind of giving it just a the little glow. So there's that one. So there they are. And I need to go and put on the, um, the matte top coat and let's see how this one turned out so there it is the matte top coat with this one if you can see it um, you can actually see that there's that darkness in there and it lightens out a little bit I'm just trying to figure out should I lighten it up a little bit but see now that I got the I don't think it really means anything. All right, I'm gonna go and put on a uh, matte top coat on all of these, and then uh, we'll put some glossy top coat on them, and I will be right back. I think I'm figuring it out, at least with this one. We will be trying this with uh, the regular gel. Uh, yeah, Th but this time I just wanted to do it with the eyeshadow. I had all these eyeshadows uh, and I do am starting to wear makeup, but I thought these were kind of neat for that, especially because they were um, on clearance and I got them for like 50 cents last year. It's really cheap, but they're not that price on their website. Uh, this was more of a Walmart thing. You have to catch them really weird when you get them on there. I was just trying to... So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. Let's see if the glossy top coat makes it even better. And I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I am back. So this is the deal. I'm not gonna say this is a win by any means. I think that I need to practice a lot more and that's with anything that I do. I do plan on hopefully doing some nail art on these and that may be something that pops up eventually. There is some issues that I saw that I'm not quite sure why they're happening. And I thought since that was, it was just eyeshadow that I wouldn't have these issues. So there's a couple things. One of the things that I saw that when I went to do one, I've heard that you could do it on matte top coat. So I would love to know down in the comments, how do you do your Aurora's nails? Um, but I was doing the eyeshadow and I tried it with the matte and we saw how that worked. It didn't work very well if you watched the beginning of the video, but now I did it the way I was being told or how I saw it on other ones and it does stick it sticks a little too well sometimes I didn't really venture off on the colors I tried to stay with what I was you know and it, and it's not like I did 
absolute Aurora look, but I thought these are kind of in that generalness of it. And I really do think these are very pigmented. So uh, any of these eyeshadows from LA, I have had some really good experience on with the uh, pigment on them. And if you go and read the reviews, they say the pigment was really good. So I tell you, if you can get your, um, if pigments are pretty expensive, so unless you're getting them from AliExpress, but if you want to get them right away or whatever, I think that uh, Ella Colors is a pretty good one and you can find them at the Dollar Tree as well. Now, overall, I'm gonna say that this was an okay. Not a perfect, not a great, not an awesome, nothing. But I did generally get that Aurora look, I think. You know, it's more darker in the middle. Sometimes they're lighter in the middle, but I'm just not sure why when I put the top coat on after I had put the matte top coat on again because it says because I had put it a top coat on over this and it bumpied um, before and I was then it says to put on a matte co top coat again. So I did that and I still got some bumpiness like some separation and I don't know why that's doing that. Now I did use regular polish but these have been here for, I don't know, weeks, months at this, with this regular polish. That would not make sense to why that would have been an issue because I did have gel over the top of them as well and they weren't bumpy. So whatever this process did, uh, I had some bumpiness. Now the other thing is I had issues with is trying to remember not to put your brush back into the thing, into the bottle. So I have to now kind of account these days for mostly for this if I have any issues because whatever the separation was, it could be that because I was sticking it back in and pulling it back out and it was getting mixed in. I don't know. But these are it. These are it right here. I'm not going to put them on me right now. Uh, like I said, I'm really having some issues with my nails and my hands and just in general. But anyway, I just want to you guys to see. Here they are. And... They will probably end up on my nails eventually or in an art thing because what I do is I paint a bunch of them and then I just keep them around and I can come back and, you know, oh, pick that color and do something with it. Uh, I have a whole bunch of them that are just painted just so you kind of give you an idea. Uh, after I paint them, I wait that 24 hours and I come back and I literally put top coats on all of these gel top coats now. And then I just come back and if I have a collab or something that might fit what I have on these colors, or I just do it again. But these would be already uh, sat here for, you know, a while. Who knows? Or if I have to alter them or take a couple off of them. So that's just my process. That's how I've been doing it. It's, it's kind of working for me for now. But yeah, I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for um, coming and watching me do this experiment. This was an experiment to definitely be an experiment. Um, but overall, I think I got somewhat there. So if you made it to the end, I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, yeah, share this video, uh, comment down below. Please try to help me out. I'm trying to learn and I'm very open to any suggestion, any comments, any help whatsoever. So this is Spacey Tracy Nails, signing off.